Hi, my name is David Murray with Technicum Engineering Services powered by Schmerzel. Today I want to take just a few minutes to go over one of the buzzwords around machine safety, and that's performance levels. Performance levels come from a safety standard, ISO 13849, which looks at the safety-related parts of the control system, or SRPCS, which are the safety functions of the machine. A safety function can be that of an e-stop, a guard door interlock, or a hold to run enable device, for example. The standard looks at these safety functions and helps you determine how reliable it is against a dangerous failure. These are the probability of a dangerous failures per hour. Now, in order to calculate your probability of dangerous failures per hour, ISO 13849 takes into account four parameters. This includes the diagnostic coverage, which essentially is the way we monitor our safety circuit. It also looks at the common cause failures, where the standard says, let's look at your two channel system, and then it will give you procedures, each procedure is given a score, and you have to select and implement enough procedures to get a score of 65 or more. Then you can claim that your safety function is resistant against a common cause failure. It also looks at the mean time to a dangerous failure, and this is the wear and tear on electrical mechanical components. Here, we have to do some calculations. We have to obtain the B10D value from the manufacturer or from the table in the standard and do a quick calculations because we have to determine how often we are relying on the safety function to activate. So we have to calculate the wear and tear. The last thing the standard looks at is the way we actually wire up our safety circuit. This is called the categories. And there can be a category B, one, two, three or four. Category B is the baseline for machine safety control systems. It is a single channel with no monitoring. One failure and you lose your safety function. Category one, same idea, single channel, no monitoring, but we're using well-tried principles and components. Category two now introduces a test function, still a single channel, one failure, and we lose our safety function. Category three now brings in the idea of a second redundant channel. So now we have the ability to detect a single failure and maintain safety. The last category is category four, which again, it's redundant with constant monitoring, but now we are resistant against fault accumulation. Now, once you have these four parameters, you can use the simplified method to determine where you are for your performance level, or you can work backwards to say, okay, this is where I need to be for performance level, and these are the options I need to get there. If you have any questions at all about ISO 13849 and performance levels and how to implement that, please give us a call. We are always happy to help. Thank you, and have a safe day.